People killed in yesterday's deadly mass shooting that happened in the Northwest Valley. The Clark County Coroner's Office says 34 year old Shinara Patterson, 14 year old Keziah Cohn, and 60 year old, six year old Zamaya Patterson all died after being shot. Police say the shooter, Marvin Ray Patterson, then turned the gun on himself. An 11 year old boy also shot. A family member telling 8 News Now the boy is clinging to life. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the like button for more content. This is the case of Shannara Patterson, a 34-year-old woman from Las Vegas, Nevada. On Monday, December the 11th, a man called 911 after he went to an apartment complex to check on his brother. He went inside the apartment and found several people inside that were shot. Arriving officers found five people with gunshot wounds, a man, an older woman, and three children under the age of 14. One of the children was an 11-year-old boy. A family member told 8 News Now he was found clinging to life and a medical took them to a local hospital, police said. I need the police. I don't, I don't know who it is to come. You need, you need medical. I need medical. I, I hear one of the, the kids, they're breathing. They're trying to breathe. Oh, oh. My nieces and nephews, they, I, think they're, I think they're gone, and then he's in the bed with his wife, and they're deceased as well. One of the children's gasping. They look okay. like they've all been shot in the back of the head. The two adults are dead in the bed. Okay. And do they have gunshot wounds, too? Fire medical service. Yes. They okay. Did not hang gunshot up. wounds and blood coming out their ears. 42-year-old Marvin Patterson fatally shoots his wife and her two children and also wounded her 11-year-old son. The Clark County Medical Examiner confirmed the homicide victims to people as Shannara Patterson, 34, Kaziah Cohn, 14, and Zamira Patterson, 6. Shannara and Kaziah were shot multiple times in the head, according to the coroner. Zamira suffered a single gunshot wound to the head, and Marvin also died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. Family and friends gather. They describe Shannara as a loving mom and friend, and her girls as just the happiest little girls. I treated them kids like they was my own. An emotional night after Monday morning's tragedy. Five people shot, four dead. The family clinging to their light in the darkness. This was not supposed to happen. James Etta Bernudi remembering her 34-year-old daughter, Shannara Patterson. She was sweet, kind, do anything for you. Shannara's sister, Michaela Bernudi. She was there. No matter who you was, how long she knew you, if she had it, she go give it to you. Michaela describes her nieces, 14-year-old Kezia Cohn, 6-year-old Zamira Patterson. Duty, that's Zamira. She was sweet. Like, she was the most innocent child I ever met. Like, she didn't have a mean bone in her body. Kezia was goofy. She loved to draw. Their brother, Derek Jr., recovering in the hospital. He's still fighting. We praying for him. He go pull through, he's strong. Our 8 News Now investigators uncovering police records showing the gunman was accused of child sex crimes and was on house arrest. If he had been in jail, none of this would have happened. Where he was supposed to be. I don't think they should have let him out at all. For now, the family sending up their love and prayers. Lauren Negretti, 8 News Now. We have good news. We have an update on DJ by his biological dad via his TikTok account. Let's listen to what um, he had to say. Hey, uh, I'm a little late, you know, but it's happening. in. You know, I just want to say uh, Happy New Year's to all. You know, love, peace, and prosperity to all as well. You know, uh, as far as DJ, DJ, man, he been moving a lot up in there. Like, that baby been, like, he didn't lift his arm. He didn't lift both arms. The baby been doing a whole lot up in there, right? Uh, he he's not on the the fitting all no more. So the fitting all, he's not on that no more. Uh, but here and there they do every I believe every four hours they give him some uh, morphine for the pain and discomfort because he be he be up in there moving a lot, y'all. And I was wiping my baby face this morning, washing his face, and man, he he yarned and stuff. I'm like, oh, little baby. But uh, he uh. He's doing great, y'all. He's doing great. He's doing great. He's doing great. He is going to be great. And we're going to be all right, y'all, straight up. But uh, love, peace, and prosperity to all. Y'all have a good new year. Shannara, the successful entrepreneur, 
was also a mother of three beautiful children. She was an event planner in addition to a cosmetologist with a great expertise at hair braiding. She produced personalized clothes, mementos, and sweets for baby showers, birthday celebrations, and other gatherings. One could not dispute Shannara's talent. My thoughts and prayers go out to the family of Shannara Patterson. May Shannara and her beautiful daughters rest in heavenly peace. If you are experiencing abuse or want to help someone who is, call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-SAFE. Again, that number is 1-800-799-SAFE. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, stay safe.